Creating Global Transformational Change, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 121. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 121, July 19th, 2015 edition. As always, I'm recovering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments using pictures and video. And if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred 30% of the content for the Outer Space lesson plan to the website. This lesson plan teaches all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of outer space. Behind the scenes, we also wrote another 35% of the written aspect of this lesson plan. In addition to this, we featured our human body lesson plan this week through our social media networks using the new social media image that Lucas, a member of our graphic design intern team, helped us create. Lucas also finished the entire freedom lesson plan mind map, and you can see this newly completed mind map here and also on the freedom lesson plan webpage. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team working on highest good food finished the vinyl social media imagery and featured our open source parsnips hub. We also researched and added three additional recipes to the open source bitter melon hub. You see these three new recipes here and as they're completed more recipes from our food self-sufficiency transition plan that contain the specific vegetables and fruits will be added to each of these food hubs. We also added three new delicious recipes to the food self-sufficiency transition plan itself. These new recipes are from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your QV, and they include breakfast rainbow stir-fry, field roast sausage and pepper sandwich, and Waldorf salad wraps. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on highest good housing continued the redesign of the Earthbag Village Pod 1 landscaping after changing the structural design of the net zero bathrooms. All that remains are pathways, so this work is now about 90% done. Behind the scenes, we also completed another 10% of the open source camp setup specifics for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This brings us to 15% complete there. Renata, civil engineering student, continued work on the central part of the Cobb Village Pod 3. She updated the layout of the kitchen and dining hall and also added textures to the roof and exterior walls to make the model more realistic. Sayonara Batista de Oliveira 
a member of the architecture and planning intern team, continued work on the Straw Bale Village Pod 2, updating the layout, social areas, and the floor plans, including the ADA units, outdoor dining area, gym, and library. Sayonara and Renata also worked together redesigning a reciprocal roof for this village. Meanwhile, Matteus Manfredini, civil engineering student specializing in urban design, researched the LEED version 4 requirements for a new village construction tutorial. He also modified the design of Earthbag Village to address issues with the size of the roof of the rainwater catchment bathroom and their ADA accessibility. Adolfo and George, both members of the mechanical engineering intern team, ran the calculations on their initial vermiculture bathroom tray design, modeling it in 3D, and determined we need four trailer jacks for this design. They then developed a drainage system and another design which wouldn't require jacks or lifting. They also created models and SOLIDWORKS of the washing machines for the Earthbag Village so we can simulate the real dimensions of the heat recovery exchanger and the shower room. Fernando and Amari, both members of the mechanical engineering intern team, worked on incorporating all the requirements from the hydraulics team into their heat exchanger for the Earthbag Village's communal showers. There, they encountered a connection problem, and that led to a modification and simplified design that reduced the pressure drops while increasing the efficiency and adding the ability to fit any piping system. Thelma researched waterproofing methods and products that one community can use specifically for our Earthship, Straw Bale, Cobb, and subterranean structures. Samantha and Flavia, from the architecture and planning intern team, worked on a third redesign of the layout of the containers for three floors of the shipping container village pod 5. New proposal you see here provides more space for living units, the industrial kitchen, and dining, as well as a better exterior appearance while keeping the desired staggered facade with the bathrooms and plumbing aligned at all levels. Akel and Diana, also members of the architecture and planning intern team, started the illustrated version of the master plan for the layout of all seven of one community's villages and additional social spaces. Villages and outdoor areas were placed according to specific reasons listed on the How to Plan the Placement of My Home or Village tutorial they created last week. Sarah, another member of the architecture and planning intern team, researched earthblock construction techniques, the structural behaviors of vaulted buildings, and earthblock and clay brick case studies to get idea for designs for the earthblock village pod 4. Gilberto, a member of the graphic design intern team, Continued 3D modeling for the Earthbag Village Pod 1, which included creating the 3D door from scratch, the flower modeling, and all these other details which you can see here. Also, Gabriel developed a 3D model of an alternate design for the waste collection for the vermiculture composting toilets in the Earthbag Village Pod 1. He also continued rendering the Murphy bed for the village and made this additional view of it. Anna did the cost analysis for the footer, foundation, and floors, and for the transitory kitchen project and created a hexagirt drawing in AutoCAD of the layout of the transitory kitchen. Last but not least, Anna Carolina from the intern team followed steps for outlining the personas of people that will be using the Treehouse Village Pod 7 based on how experiences motivate people, tracking behaviors and understanding their goals. She also researched case studies and the features of the location. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician if you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This last week, Erica, Thais, Pedro, and Victor from the Architecture and Planning Intern Team completed the first steps of the Duplicable City Center Lighting Study with simulations on dialects of the social and dining domes. Mike Balbino created a template for calculating the time required to build Duplicable City Center, a checklist of what is still needed for planning the construction of the city center, and a guide to help the Architecture and Planning Intern Team understand necessary elements for consideration of construction of the other seven villages. Ricardo Carrillo, design consultant and principal of Acumen Industries and the structural intern team, Antonio, Gabriel, Beatriz, Fernando, Rodrigo, and Marilio, discovered that the domes were not able to properly support the mezzanine areas around the elevator and stairs. This led to design changes as they created structural strategies to support all the second floor slabs and cupola, created map loads, and placed about 20% of the columns and primary beams. Structural intern team also worked on the Duplicable City Center dome walls and started calculating structural needs for snow, wind, earthquakes, and more. 
To do this, they create a numerical assignment for each bar of the triangles that make up the walls of the domes and calculated areas for the triangles. Jogo, Isadora, Zhao, Mateos, and Roberto from the hydraulics intern team created the AutoCAD design drawings for the placement of the pipes for potable water, sewer, and gray water in Duplicate City Center. And they also created the Eco Pool and Spa AutoCAD plumbing specifics that you can see here. In addition to this, working with the help of Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, Fabio, Lucas de Souza, and Lucas Tatsui de Silva, Guillerme, Anike, Chago, and Isaiah of the Electrical Intern Team continued evolving the control systems and electrical design. This included creating a rough draft of the new electrical design for the Living Dome to include the lighting project the architecture team created and designing a single wire diagram for the breakers of the first floor of the Living Dome, tables for their research on the loads and cost of circuit breakers, wires, outlets, and lights for various areas of the city center, and creating a list of all the control system features we'll be integrating. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team continued the updating of our entire website to be mobile friendly. With four members of the team working on it simultaneously, we fixed another 40 plus pages, including major formatting issues with our values pages, new icons for all the highest good education lesson plans, which you can see here, and coding the new site to automatically resize images and properly format images with captions. You can see this here, and we'd say we're now about 60% done with this complete website overhaul. Behind the scenes, Bin Ru Chen, accountant specializing in audit and financial reporting, researched and created a statement of financial position spreadsheet and tutorial to go with last week's statement of activities document. This is an additional tutorial for educating people on the tax considerations and strategies for transparent operation of a nonprofit ecotourism destination as one community. Also behind the scenes, Lucy Liu, accountant specializing in financial reporting and managerial accounting, continued creating the charities and other not-for-profit organizational tax filing tutorial. This last week, Lucy finished property tax exemptions for nonprofit organizations in California and started researching Utah as a way of comparing the differences. This work and Bin Ru's work is all part of the highest good economics component of building teacher demonstration hubs. Manuela, Manaseis, and Eduardo, members of the graphic design intern team, completed the first step of creating a potential new logo for One Community. Using Manuela's research on One Community's visual identity, they researched references and created sketches and alternatives to express the concept, uh, concepts approached in this research. Eduardo also searched for music options, images, and video styles for a new video he is creating for One Community. Igor, Marco, Mateos and Natalia from the software development intern team started modeling the web pages for the Highest Good Network web application by creating hand sketches, then modeling them using Photoshop. They also made a layout of the Highest Good Network database and worked on programming the initial code for the application. Gustavo Romito, mobile software developer, worked on a new feature called Dashboard for one community's Highest Good Network iPhone application. This is for recording and viewing work and recreational activities. He also completed 20% of the development of a new feature that allows users to follow the activities of other people in the system. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. We think creating global transformational change has a very simple formula. That formula is to keep, create a self-replicating model that spreads sustainability across the planet and provides a better way of living for everybody. That self-replicating model is built on a formula of making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating it as attractive enough so that the idea will spread on its own. One community's method for doing that is by open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. 
And our definition of highest good living that we will demonstrate as being attractive enough so that it will spread on its own is a combination of physical sustainability, which is food, energy, and housing, combined with emotional sustainability components, which are fulfilled living models, highest good education, highest good economics, which covers for-profit, non-profit business creation so people can get out of debt, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together is an evolution of sustainability that will provide a way of living that most people will consider to be superior to the way that they're living right now. And we feel that if we make each of the components, everything that's necessary to build teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities and hubs that will share this way of living with others, we call these solution models that create additional solution creating models. We feel that if we make all the components, the elements, open source and free shared so that people can implement them as either individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub, then everything that we do is a step in the right direction. And this is the easy enough and affordable enough aspect. We want to make it so that people can build a complete teach teacher demonstration community, or if they want, they could just implement a better form of garden, or a better form of sustainable energy, or a recreation model or an education program in their community, taking everything that we do and implementing it in the way that works best for them, and for people that are really interested in contributing to creating global transformational change with, with us, Creating it in such a way that so that people can contribute their open source creations, their open source contributions back to the global collaborative so that we can make it better for everybody. Providing more and more options, more and more, more and more ideas, more and more blueprints, templates, instructions, tutorials, do-it-yourself options that people can choose from and build off of. Creating a whole suite of different options and selections for people to take and modify and adapt to meet their individual needs in a way that works best for them. So to accomplish all of this, we're bringing together the people with a consciousness for the highest good of all that believe that it's not only possible to create global transformational change, but also that believe it's time for us to be the change that we want to see and that they are capable and desiring to create this with us. And so by bringing together these people as partners, consultants, collaborators, the pioneers, the people that will move to the property and build everything that is one community, we're building a global and already have a global team that's helping to create all this. So if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds like something that you'd like to be a part of, we of course welcome you and are invite, invite you to join our project to get involved. There's lots of different ways to participate from partners and consultants to the pioneers that will build everything that we are designing and developing right now to lots of other options to just participating on the internet. We're on all the different social media networks. We are on Twitter. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Facebook. We are on Tumblr. We're on Reddit. We're on Pinterest and about 10 other different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to take our information, to share our information, to get the information in the hands of those that need and want and find it most interesting so that this idea can spread across the world and impact as many people positively and as quickly as possible. This is what One Community is all about. This is our idea of creating global transformational change and inviting you and everybody else on the planet to participate in the way that works best for you. People ask all the time, what is the number one thing that can help one community to progress? And of course, we're still seeking large-scale funding. So if you're somebody or you know somebody that might be able to help us, we still haven't been able to get the property off the market, and large-scale funding is the key to that, either donating to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or investing in one community to help us get the property off the market that we've been working with now for four and a half years. We still don't own it, uh, and being able to take that property off the market would allow us to share the location to share pictures and video of why that property was chosen, the 30 different criteria that were met for that property to invite tens of thousands and not hundreds of thousands of people to come and visit and participate in one community. But we're still seeking that one large scale fund, that one angel investor or organization that would like to be the funder or investor in one community to help us take that next big step. And as I always say, you know, nobody on our team is paid. We are 100% volunteer, unpaid uh, staff. And so every donation, the $5 donations, the $10 donations, the $50 donations really help us out because none of that is going to pay our salaries or wages or anything like that. All that money goes specifically to help us operate our website, to maintain our nonprofit organization, and all the little expenses that it requires to run a global organization like ours with a global team like ours, and um, to keep developing everything that we're developing and spreading the word and providing uh, constant upgrades to our website, etc., so that it's always improving and getting better and easier for people to access the information that they like. 
So with that, I will say, as always, thank you for following our progress. Thank you for the small donations. Uh, if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to everything that it is that I've talked about here in this, this week's update, you can visit our written blog. And of course, if you'd like to receive an email every time these updates, one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Thanks for following our progress. Of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.